All right, so this is going to be the more ad advanced version. It's totally optional. Um, but it is kind of cool because especially if we, when we get 3D printers, which we should be but hopefully in the next uh, year or so we'd get. Uh, I know the high school definitely has them and maybe your parents have some already. So this is called Tinkercad Autodesk. OK, and I si signed in for that and we do have a class link. Um, the link right down here is to join the you click on that and then you enter your nickname. Now, on here, as you can see, I um, have everybody's regular, your nickname would be just the nickname that I, that you use in class, Drew is Drew, um, and Alex, I just shortened yours to Alex from Alexander, um, and so you all have your regular usernames on there uh, to, to log into. Uh, this will save some of your, you know, so I can, and I can see your projects. Now, when you get onto here, please watch a couple of these videos. This 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 video is just like a real quick introductory one. Um, and here's another one with uh, like a kid who shows um, this this video here is a kid who a seventh grader I think who um, was designing parts for a car he's making. This is a, a girl BMX rider who designed. She has. She was born without one of her arms, um, and she designs uh, parts for for her end to connect to her bike, and then some tutorials that you want. Um, now you don't have to if you if you're really good and just want to tinker around with it, and um, that's uh, that's what I did right away. Um, and when I went in here. Um, I, I, you can create a new design right here and, and it'll give you like a plane to do. And now this is pretty cool because you can see it in three, three dimensions instead of doing three different drawings or actually, you know, like a, instead of doing a bottom view, top view, um, side views and front and back, um, whatever you do is going to come up on here and you can turn it around, you can turn it around and rotate it by this kind of view around. Now this is your work plane and it's called, I think they call it zero. And you can just drag on objects onto here and you can rotate them and you can even do scales where you can see how big they are um, and you can drag them bigger. And when you look at it now, you can see all different views. See left, back, all the way around. Um, uh, even a bottom view of this. Um, and then I think this is like go into full view. You can get up closer to it. And then you can just start dragging different things around and put it in, in different spots. Um, you, I think you can even make a hole. I know you can make a hole. So when you go into here and say I wanted that to be a hole right there, I just do hole. And it, there's a hole now in that in, into that. Just turn it around right where I put that ball. Okay. Um, you can group. I know if you go like this, you, then you can uh, put them together. And if you get just put put them, you can you can um, put them as one group together. So you merge them together, or you could keep them separate like this. This way, I could I could move that back out if I wanted to. I could even do it right in the middle. I could even make that ball bigger that hole bigger if I wanted to, or make it solid again. Uh, now, this, as you put these together into, you can design something just simple. Um, you can even scribble shapes, which is, this one's kind of cool. You can just scribble on here, a scribble shape. Um, and the, it, what it does first is it puts it on like a side view or like you, it, like it's laying down first. And you can see over here uh, the preview. This is this is like a like a car that's just laying straight down. Um, I can even fill this. There's different ones in here. I can fill it in. Um, now, if you're if you're not good at that, you can do even a couple different things. I like the different. Pro I want to get some ideas first. So when I went back to my to my dashboard. Um, there was a search and I searched some different cars that I was like, I'm gonna see a couple cars. Um, and it's just loading here. 
And I did test this out um, and it does work. And, and you might want to, um, and you definitely want to name it. Uh, so up in here, there's a, there's a, up oh, there, but that's my, <laughs> that's my object right here. So if, if I would have, if I would have sent this to a 3D printer, it would have printed it just like this, you know, and stunning, <laughs> and Ari Fluffy, <laughs> it named it for me. Um, and now if I wanted also to search for different ones, I can do things that people have already done. So I just put in car into there uh, and I was looking for 3D ones. And there was all different projects that people posted. Give you some examples. Um, and some of them, some of them are just making their own up. Some are trying to copy different ones. And some of them are like a car looks like a dragon. Some people did a car by by a building. And this is that Formula One car that I liked. Um, look at look, that's a cool one. Um, oh, hey, they got a Jeep Wrangler. Boop. Let's just do that one. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So here's a nice Jeep Wrangler somebody somebody sketched. Um, and that's really cool. And then you can view it in 3D. Thought you could. Here it is. And then you, so just how they designed it. So if you just wanted to get some ideas on, on how how uh, engineers would use this, um, because if this the, the engineers who designed the Wranglers had to do prototypes, drawings like this, and they did them on a 3D um, version here, and um, and then they actually made a, a prototype of it and tested it out to see if they had to make changes. And then the engineers would go back and say, hey, this didn't work. Or maybe the, you know, they they found out it was too, um, oh, look at that. See, I can turn it around. Here's a spare tire and everything. That's pretty cool. And, diff and all different views of, of this. That's a pretty well done, done one. So, um, Again, they would they would design something like this and then uh, test it out and uh, build a prototype. And I know, like on these the the Wranglers, like on mine, they found out that right here, when the wind came through it, um, what they needed to do was make the, the the windshield a little bit more curved. And they made vents here, so when the from when the wind came through, they vented out here instead of venting up through. The, the two vents on top because what was happening is the the hood was fluttering. So um, they designed it differently by adding, uh, the engineers went back and said, hey, let's make some vents here. So if you want to do that, that this is totally optional. You can do a couple ways to, to do this. You could you can save it and I can see it. Um, you can you can also do some screenshots of those if you wanted to um, and add it into here. Uh, again, this is a little trickier, but it is something that you should be able to, um, to handle uh, because even to play around with it, I, even if you just make something like a snowman or something, or you look at some designs, um, it is something that in the future, if you are designing things, if you want to get into engineering, if you want to get, you're going to be using these. If any, I know some of your parents are into computers and and um, designing uh, engineering, I they would definitely use CAD designs of some sort, uh, architects, buildings, you name it. Um, this is just a simple one that I've been using it for a little bit. Um, but again, and here's my, this one was kind of cool too. This, this car was kind of neat. I just showed it to you because I like it. So, and again, I can view it in 3D. And if you like it, you can, you could, you could, that was designed by me. And so I could turn it around, look underneath. Again, I like these little scoops here in the, in the front to cut the wind. Uh, these are stabilizers in the back, which I think are spoilers or I, I know there's a different name for that in cars. Um, so that's just one right there. And then I could download it and I could actually send it right to a 3D printer and make a little mini model of it. 
um, and then they would probably work on an upscale version of it. So, okay, well, I hope that that kind of introduces Tinkercad to you. Um, try it out. If anybody has a 3D printer at home, I know some of your parents are engineers uh, and, and a computer, that'd be awesome if you can make something and then show us what it is, take a picture with it.